All praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash Yahweh is who the world ignorantly called God in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. This world needs a change. And the change is going to come for sure. All right. But you got to see that this world needs a change, man. Every everywhere you look up is some type of wicked shit going on. All right. Whether it's transgenderism, uh, you know, um, some corruption within the government, you know, um, it's just it's a, man, the, the, the earth is just filled with wickedness and yeah, it's going to come to an end. All right. But you gotta, you gotta, you have to go to the to, to the top and and really through the process of elimination. And who, who's in, who's responsible? Who's in charge right now? Who's allowing these wicked acts, the corruption, the 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 the, the lying, the cheating, or the all this wickedness to go along, go go on, continue? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. All right, that that's who's biblical name, Esau. Okay, and I ain't talking about your 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 your, your average. You know, um, Edomite, you know, I'm talking about the elite of this wicked ass society, the the uh, Rothschilds, all right, the international bankers, the ones that's run everything. They're allowing this to go on because they're in rulership right now. But a change is going to come. They're going to be taken out of their seat, out of their rulership seat eventually. All right. And, and our people need to wake the fuck up. You know, excuse my language, but because when it, when, when the shit happens, when the shit hits the fan. This devil is this devil Esau is is he gonna take any and everyone down with him, all right? Just like the coward that he is, all right? You know he ain't gonna go down and, and, and on his own like okay, no he gonna take everybody down with him. And you Israelites that are attached to this man, okay, in any way, in any shape or form, okay, you're gonna go right right along with him, all right? And the uh, the ultimate attachment to this man is gonna be it'll come in the form of this M A R K. All right, that, that this man's um, where you're attached to this man's B system. All right, so you know a change is coming, man. A change got to come because, as the scriptures say, if 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 it wasn't for the elect's sake, there would be no flesh to be saved. All right, that Esau would destroy everything, including himself. Okay, but the Lord has a remnant that He's coming back to save, to redeem, that's going to receive salvation, and that everyone else is going to perish. All right, especially especially here in America. All right, where we're wickedness is at an all-time high. All right, this uh, uh, America is the core of the wicked wickedness in the world. Okay, all right. So let me start with Second Ezra fifteen um, and one. Behold, I speak. Behold, speak thou in the ear of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's the prophecies that these that, that all these prophecies are going to come to pass. That Esau has an end. All right, and, and and Esau's end is the beginning of Yasharallah's for everlasting reign. All right, Israel's reign. Okay, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And there's going to be naysayers that that don't believe in this truth. That's going to um, come against this truth because they're comfortable in this world. They're comfortable in wickedness. Okay, and. and that that that's two thirds of our people that that are actually comfortable in wickedness, are comfortable in this system, are comfortable in this setup. All right, that don't see anything wrong with the 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 the, the trans um, agenda. All right, that don't see anything wrong with this wicked government. How this government is is you know has continued to lie to you. All right, to to take away your rights. To, to and eventually you're gonna you're not gonna have any rights. All right, like that devil um who said it, Klaus Schwab or one of these you know um elite cronies that you know they put out there uh you will own nothing and, and love it okay that that's how they that, that's how they're they're molding the people to to um to be okay and and be okay with that okay verse four for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness behold say of the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction to all these these the four things i just named sword fa famine death and destruction are Things that are going to happen in the end, okay, are things that are going to have to take place 
for this wicked ass society, for this wicked ass setup, this wicked ass kingdom to come down. It's got to be destruction. It's going to be a lot of death. It's going to be, and, and the death is going to come in the form of famine, the sword, all right, uh, uh, pestilence. All these things must take place. Why? Verse six, for, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. It says wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And, 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 the, and the head of that wickedness is the wicked, okay? Esau, Edom, they're the head, okay? They're, they're the ones that, you know, allow the wickedness to go on, okay? If you're a ruler, if, you, if, you, if you're a ruler and you set in certain laws, you can, you can set, set the laws to how, you know, you want the people to um, um, act in, 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 in a certain way. If you do this, there's a punishment. If you don't do this, there's a certain punishment. But what did this devil do? He allows, you know, damn near everything to go on. Okay, you could get away with anything here in America, as long as you got enough money, as long as you have a, a, a certain status. All right, as long as you bring a, a certain amount of money to Esau, to, to put it in Esau's pocket, you can do anything you want. All right, that, that's not that's not a government uh, uh, governed by um, um, any righteousness. Okay, it's just do as thou will, spirit. But roam all over again. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's, that's, that's plain. The earth is given into the hand of this devil. All right, the wicked. All right, and he covered the faces of the judges. Who are the ultimate judges? The most high and his son. He covered those faces to um with, with, with images of himself. All right, to, th to to have everyone believe that the, that the Most High and His Son are so-called white men. All right, so whenever they say something, it, it, it got to be right because hey, the Most High thinks like them because the Most High looks like them. That's how that's the witchcraft that this devil has used on our people. It says, if not, where and who is? If 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 it ain't the so-called white men, who's in control of all these industries, all these you know these um these countries, at the head of these UN meetings, these summit meetings? Who who is it? All right, and they and they'll put all these other leaders in there to make make the world think that they have a say so. No one has a say so under this devil Esau. Okay, this this this, this devil has completely destroyed any and everything that's pure and organic in this world. All right, and and and, and starting off with the minds of the people. Okay, once you corrupt the minds of the people and and you have them believing evil is good and um and, and good is evil. All right, you can do whatever the hell you want with them. Okay, but hey, the the, the 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 change is coming, and and our people are going to be a hey, you know, two thirds of our people are going to be a part of it because they're not going to repent. If you can't see what the hell is going on in the world, man, you you you've been living under a, a, a rock, man, for real. This is uh the book of Sirach, chapter ten, and um, shit. Actually, I started one, and I, but the point is, in, the point I want to get to is an eight. A wise judge will instruct his people. The government and the government of the prudent man is well ordered. A wise judge, a wise ruler, is going to instruct his people in a, in a proper way to, you know, to on on how to live, and, and so you know um, they won't be destroyed. But is Esau wise? Hell no. He's wise in wickedness, okay. But he's not wise in righteousness. He's not wise in in instructing a, a people in in a, in, a, in a right direction, okay. That's going to prosper. Uh, uh, themselves okay verse 2 as the judge of the people as as the judge of the people is himself so are his officers and what manner of what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are they that dwell therein so hey how the how the how the rulers act that's how the people are going to react the the, the 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 people are a reflection of the ruler all right so if the rulers of this society are, are wicked they're corrupt they're liars they're cheaters OK, uh, uh, um, they um, they they basically have no discipline amongst the people. How are the people going to act the same way? The people are going to, you know, cheat, rob, steal, kill and, and, and do all matter of wickedness. All right. Verse three, an unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. That this devil Esau is that unwise king and the people are clearly destroyed, mainly our people. OK, the scripture says in. um. I'll grab it real quick and jump back. Micah 2 and 10. Um, 
depart for this is arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction and, and our people are completely destroyed right now okay they, they're destroyed because they believe in the american dream they believe in democracy and they believe in all this wicked philosophies that this devil pushes forth onto our people and 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 they're going to find out they're going to man all these all the lies that this devil has told you you're going to they're destroying you and they're going to destroy you even even more in 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 uh in due time all right um i'll jump down to eight because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another and we're in the part of that translation right now the kingdom is being translated the change is going to come the change is happening okay as you see the children of israel waking up into unto who we are who you know that we have that we we know the heavenly father's name and his son's name to call upon in our time of need in our time of trouble to worship them in, in their true names okay to begin to follow the law statutes and commandments that the lord put set set forth for us to follow you know to to conduct ourselves in this world in a righteous manner okay the, that that's the beginning of the, that's the beginning of the translation translation the people all right the people of the lord returning unto the lord okay and then everything else was going to fall you know fall in place but that's the first thing that has to happen the people all right israel yashrah that which is a people before it's a place have to wake up out of this deep sleep okay we have to um, um come back to their heritage and that's what's taking place and everything else is going to be it's going to be an easy transition i read it again because of unrighteous dealings that's what this devil is known for he the devil is not going to deal righteously all right however you try to cut it or slice it this devil is not going to deal righteously in, with with, with with none, not even the heathens, not even his own self, let alone you niggas, you Israelites, injuries, all right, injuries, hey, this devil does nothing but rape, rob, rape, rob, and murder, and that's how he got everything that he has, okay, through lies and stealings, all right, riches, and, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, and that one people is from Esau, Edom, all right, the wicked, unto Yasharala, the righteous rulership of of Yahweh Shem Shai, starting with the elect, starting with Yahweh Shai. All right, this is um, the book of Second Ezra six and um, uh, verse seven. Then said, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, and when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? All right, this is the prophet Ezra asking the angel, when is basically saying, when is the kingdom going to be established? Okay, the the, the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac and Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. And, and Esau represents the so-called white man. He's the end of the world, the end of an era. All right. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob, rulership is going to last forever. It's going to be an everlasting rulership with Yahweh Shai, the uh, uh, King David, 12, and, and, and you know the the governing body the elect that's going to rule in righteousness and why are we going to rule in righteousness because we're going to have the law statutes and commandments written in our inward parts so we'll never sin we'll never go off as a nation we'll never be overtaken by any heathen nation let alone the edomites okay so so, so that that that's 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 our end game esau's end game is his new world order all right trying to establish this new, wicked new world order to continue to keep this wicked wicked rulership going all right, and it's and it's not it's not going to last. It's not going to. It's coming to an end. We're we're watching this man's end right before our eyes. Okay, so hey, the, the end is coming. The the end is near. Um, damn, what I want to grab. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can. Second Ezra's chapter um, nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently." In itself, when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I told thee before, then shall thou understand at the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. These are prophecies. These are signs of the end times. Up earthquakes and uproars of the people. You're seeing earthquakes, man, every day. There's an earthquake somewhere. All right, and as the as these birth pains increase. All right, uh, um, you're going to see more earthquakes. And you're going to see more uproars. Look what's going on over there in France. And France is just, you know, they've been protesting in France for a couple of years now. 
but it's intensifying. You're going to see protests continue to intensify all over the world. These are signs of an end. These are the signs that, 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 that a change is coming. Okay, that a righteous rulership is on the brink. All right. Um, let me see. Um, in verse four, then shall thou well that shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest right now. All right. No one wants to talk about the end. All right. Everyone wants to talk about you know continuing, continuing in wickedness, continuing in this man's kingdom. Okay, niggas are talking about they they, they just want to, um, you know, uh, uh, they want, you know, if these things do happen, they're not going to happen in our lifetime. I don't I want to be dead by the time this all happens. Shit this happening right before your eyes. And our to our people are so blind. They don't understand that we're living in the end times. You're in the end times. Okay, you're you're going to be written in the, the, the book of life, whether it's going to be uh, you're going to be. Uh, uh, on the wrong, on the right side of judgment, on the wrong side of judgment, you're going to be either be either be in the, be in the lake of fire, or you're going to be receive salvation in them chariots. All right. Um, so everything has a beginning and everything has an end. That, that's what Jake don't realize. Except for the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven. It, that's there's no end to that. It's all right. A, a world without end. All right. Verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and. Plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And it's going to be effects and signs. The signs are the, 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 the prophecies. Okay, but the effects are going to be ultimately those those ICBM missiles that's going to end, end America, end, end this world war. Okay, end Esau's reign. All right, you know, that that's when this devil is going to be completely taken out of power. All right, when, when, their, when, their, when their empire is, 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 is ultimately falling. Okay, and everyone that shall be saved shall be shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. You, that's the only way you're going to be able to escape this by your faith and your works. All right, um, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's talking about the elect. That was um. That was predestined, preordained to receive salvation from the beginning of the world. All right. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and that have and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And Jake is, you know, our people have received benefits in, in this world. All right. Because of the, the grace of Yahweh Bashim Shai, but they, they still haven't known him. They still don't seek and search uh, uh, to repent and, 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 and seek the Heavenly Father's, um, um, his law, statutes, and his judgments. Okay. Um, let me see. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when, and when as, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not and despised it. And you got a lot of our people right now despising the prophets, despising this word, despising this truth, they don't want to be Israelites. They want to continue to be black. They want to continue to be Latinos and and uh, Mexicans and Puerto Ricans and all the you know all these bywords that the devil has in labels that the devil has placed on them. All right, they want to continue in that. They don't. They they despise the truth. Okay, the same must know it after death by pain. They're going to know it by death by pain, the second death. All right, which is going to come in the form of the, those those ICBM missiles. All right, destroying America. And, and 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 just because you got, you got Jake that may live in Central and South America, they're going to get destroyed too. They may not be I, by by ICBM missiles, but you think about the destruction of America, the 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 um the ripple effect it's going to have over the world. Okay, you think that just because America is going to be destroyed, <laughs> South America is going to just be uh, uh 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 you know be level and cool? Hell no. Hey, the Lord may man the, 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 with the, the with the earthquake with the Destruction, the Lord may 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 cause South America to just open right up, right in the middle, and, and and people just fall in. All right, hey, people, a lot of our people, man, they underestimate the power of the Lord. Okay, but the Lord in these last days, the Lord is going to show His power. He's going to show His power in 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 in, in, in these end times. All right, and He's really showing His power through His men that's prophesying through 
uh, um, that's prophesying and in, in, in breaking down this book. Okay, because this book has been a, a mystery. All right, these, these 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 prophecies are mysteries, and the Lord has only given them to uh, um, a, a chosen few, those that are called. Okay, Lord willing, we're chosen. Um, let me grab the Second Thessalonians two. No, no, I want uh, Second Peter. Bear with me for one second. Yeah, I just start at um, I start at three. The coming day, the coming day of the Lord, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking in their own lusts and saying, "Where is the promise of His coming?" For since our the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as were from the beginning of the creation so that's just jake thinking you know it's talking shit like you know where's the promise Where, where's this end coming okay jake wants everything to be status quo Every, jake wants everything to be you know just remain how it is jake wants to continue to indulge in their wickedness okay without any repercussions without any you know jake just want our people just really want to be wicked man they, they've taken on the the um they've taken on that um the um they've taken on that what's the word uh i want to say um they've taken on the, the the beliefs and the mind state of, of esau okay that just like yahweh shai said you are your father the devil all right they, they they our people don't see any wrong in their wicked doings all right all right and deep down in them that you know they know something they're doing wrong but as long as they're not getting judged as long as they're not getting um they're not getting punished for it. They're continuing it. And they can, and these last days, they're going to talk shit. It said it's going to be scoffers walking in their own lust. All right, verse 5. For they, for this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the waters, of the water and in the water. Whereby the world, that, it's like, whereby the world, that then was being overflowed with water perished. That's talking about the first death, all right, the, the Noah flood. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and, and perdition of ungodly men. All right, so everything's being preserved in these last things. Everyone's back in their lot in these last days. If you were, if you were a prophet, you're going to be a prophet now. If you were a scoffer, you're going to be a scoffer now, okay? If you were a wicked Edomite in the ancient world, you're going to be a wicked Edomite now, all right? Everyone's back in their, light, their lot to receive their judgment, all right? If you were a help of the prophets, you're going to be a help of the prophets in these days. But beloved, be not ignorant for this one thing that one day, one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the Lord is not slack concerning his promise of delivering his elect, taking out this devil Esau, okay, establishing the righteous kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. All right, he, he the Lord hey, our Lord wants this, okay? But hey, everything has a everything has to take everything has to uh um, the prophecies, all the prophecies must come to pass. And then, you know, the end shall come. Not willing that any should perish, but that some, that all should come to repentance. The Lord doesn't uh, 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 want, want, want all you Jakes to die. But hey, he has to be, he, the Lord's a man of his word. All right, the Lord's going to stand by his word before his name. All right, so the Lord says two thirds are going to perish, two thirds are going to perish. All right, the Lord would like all you Jakes to come to repentance, but it's, it's a for it's not meant for you to come to repentance. All right. Hey, you weren't, you weren't, you weren't, uh, uh, chosen from the foundation of the world. Okay. You, you, you know, you were just, you know, you were, you were pretty much born in vain in these last days, even though some of you, you, you know, you Israelites are going to, you know, be in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. You're going to be come back in your right mind because you're going to be born with the law, statutes, commandments written in your inward parts. But this time around, you got to go. All right. And this is what we're looking forward to right here. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So those those wicked works, all right? The earth, 
everything is going to melt with fervent heat not the whole world but mainly america some parts of europe some parts of the damn sure the middle east that 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 land of um israel all right they're going to be melted with fervent heat this the, pretty much the majority of the planet is going to be jacked up okay because of the wickedness because of the this is the the works all right those wicked works and the lord is coming like a thief in the night the lord is not he he's not slack like the scripture said prior it's not slack concerning his problems the lord is going to come the lord wants to come it's just a matter of the heavenly father yahweh giving the word all right seeing that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of person are you to be in a holy conversation and godliness seeing that all these calamities are happening all these plagues all these crazy weather patterns all these this, this corruption this wickedness going on talks of world war um you know what type of person are you to be okay you you're going to continue to to be wicked and 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 you know um you know pretty much wait it out and see what happens or are you going to repent and turn to the lord and fear the lord and and show that you know hey you know show that you know you want to be you want to receive salvation that you don't want to be partaking the second death all right that's what the scripture is saying but our people they want to continue they our people don't they're not going to learn until it's too late that's that's jake's that's that's the spirit of jake uh, a nigga's always a, a day late and a dollar short man all right looking and hastening unto the coming of the day of the most high wherein the heavens shall be on fire and shall dissolve and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and new earth wherein righteousness dwelleth that's what we're looking forward to that's why the end has to come okay we're, we're, we're getting close to the end all right and, and the closer and closer we get you're going to see things get worse and worse mainly for our people israelites okay because we're at the bottom right now we were okay we've been at the bottom so when things get worse in the economy who, who, who who's going to be the first to take the hit israelites because we're at the bottom okay we, we, so as things as things get heat up heat up and you see prophecies coming to pass more and more things are going to get worse and worse for our people that's that was prophesied that's going to that's 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 you know the change has to come and, and when the as the change comes, you're going to see a lot of turmoil. You're going to see a lot of death. You're going to see a lot of uh, uh, destruction. All right. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Shem, Yahweh, Until next time, I say Shalom.